Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play some more GTNH. So I think today we're going to work on some LV stuff. Like one of the first things I should work on, and I've talked about it a lot of times, I think it's very easy, is using a chemical reactor to make rubber. Should have been doing this a long time ago, but I think it's time to do that. Uh, just to catch you up last time, uh, basically we have an advanced macerator. I don't think any advanced any macerator works, but I just have advanced here. Uh, advanced electrolyzer you do need. You take clay, ignore the polar earth, that was something else. And basically, we're making lithium dust, sodium, uh, alumina, and silicon dioxide. These guys are other stuff. Um, and uh, this will help us make uh, aluminium ingots. Plus, we'll probably need this for other stuff. Um, last time, we also played around with the electrolyzer and the basic chemical reactor. And we created, in the end, we created uh, the, the, what do you call it, the... Silicon, solar grade, poly, blah, 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 dust. And we mix it with the uh, crystals here. And basically got these guys, which will help us make more circuits and things like that later on. But we're going to ignore that for now. I'm going to work on setting up uh, an extended LV setup here. This is pretty crowded. I mean, I could get more in here, but I think it's getting a little too crowded. Um, I was thinking of originally just going and putting something in the middle of the floor. But I think I might put some stairs upstairs for fun. Uh, just something silly. Go upstairs and then work on ex like just an upstairs version of more of this stuff. Um, I also have this room over here I guess I can technically use. But uh, I kind of want to do it upstairs for whatever reason. It's in my head now. So let me work on that. We'll come back. Okay, so I got the upstairs done now. So this is it coming up here. Um, oh, that's when I did the roof. I can take this down now. So it works pretty good here. There's the water because it was coming out from outside here. I just kind of hid it for now here. Um, I might leave it there. might, you know, decorate it or something or move it or change it up. But it's fine for now. This is where we're going to get our pipe coming up here. So this will be our uh, our steam here. So I just got to make uh, four steam turbines. I'm going to do steam still for the LV stuff. I can always crank up our steam production a wee bit for LV. But I don't want to go into MV with it. Um, but yeah, I'll crank that up a bit, get that going, and then we can use this to start doing stuff in here, which will be awesome. I don't know. This is going to be long enough, or we're going to be, I feel like we're going to be short one. One, two, three. Oh, no, we might just have enough then. This is slightly smaller, but I don't need the throughput up here, right? So it should be more than enough, to be fair. Yeah, okay. That's perfect. Okay. And then we got our steam turbine. So we're going to just shift right click on all these. Actually, that works anyways. Fine. So yeah, those should be connected. Perfect. And then I might need to make more of this over time, but that's fine. And then I guess we could start over this way first. You don't need it right away if you, you go the one way first, right? So yeah, I like this. Perfect. I just need to get myself. Uh, do I have that tool? No. Oh, I do have the toolbox here. Ah, look at this. This is useful for some stuff, except, interesting enough, it has no sh shear thingies in it. I think this toolbox needs to be built slightly bigger. I'm sorry, but it sucks. <laughs> it has no room for my shears. Don't know if these will break right away, but. Okay. There you go. Perfect. Okay. So all this was for this rubber. So now that we're 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 ready, you know, we we did some good cuts there, so it wouldn't be bad. Um, so this is going to be done in the chemical reactor, I guess. So if we check here in the chemical reactor, um, you can either do the one or this one. I'd rather do this one, obviously. So this is um, oh, I see. You just use the bigger pieces. That's just, that's pretty simple. Thirty seconds. Creates a lot of rubber. Pretty straightforward. How much? I, I should have checked. How much power do you use, by the way? Oh, it's not too bad, actually. We'll give it a little space. We should anyways there. So let's do it right here. So there's the chemical reactor. Cool. Now I'm going to need a fluid solidifier as well eventually here. But let's, let's start with this. And uh, I'll put it sideways for fun. And we'll get ourselves some chests here. There you go. 
And then, yeah, that should be good. And then we can go ahead and grab what we need in here. Do I have room in here? Oh, yeah. So I got some sulfur dust here. I got lots more, by the way. Yeah, tons over here. You don't need that much sulfur dust, if you recall, though. It's all in the... Uh, the quest here has, yeah, seven sulfur and, like, a stack of rubber, right? So it's all about the rib. Interesting that I guess we haven't had this done before. Interesting, yeah. Because I guess it doesn't ask for anything else but the cables and stuff. Okay. But, uh, yeah, no, this will be good. So we'll go ahead and uh, put this stuff together. So we'll put one of this, one of that. And then put the sulfur there and the rubber here. Perfect. And then we'll get more. Eventually it'll it'll max out anyways, right? You can only fit so much, but that's that's fine. Oh my, that was pretty good. Uh, there. Okay, so and then we'll probably want to solidify as well, so you can solidify it when you need. You also might just might want to. Um, have an assembler for this too because I don't actually know how you make cables I think it's done with oh yeah it is done this way but you could do well no because it's the other cables that we want right yeah so we're gonna have to get an assembler here to do like copper cables and stuff so um, but you're gonna want a solidifier as well so maybe this is where this would have been better up here to be fair and then you can switch it back and forth or actually it doesn't matter because I can just pick it up how much does the assembler hold actually oh uh, only 16 that's not a lot to be fair we'll see how it goes I might switch things around let me make an assembler and a solidifier and then we'll come back uh, since we've done all that a bunch of times already or at least once for the solidifier and everything else. Yeah, 16. Oh, I think you'll enjoy this. Look at this. So um, I took all the coins and I put them in the assembler uh, basically to put them in the green level so I have more storage. So like literally uh, now we're, we're just getting over these again. But I thought it would be kind of cool to condense them, condense them just because... Well, we were kind of running out of space to be fair so um yeah i'm actually kind of out of like everything so let's place the solidifier down first here and then we can uh, deal with uh, getting this up and running so i guess you filled up already yeah so we can go like this and turn this on i was thinking the assembler i could just fluid you know pipe it out so that's not a big deal um okay so we got that perfect or i can even throw it on top i never even thought of that until now um so that that goes in there perfect and then i just need um i mean the easy one for now would just be these guys here not you i guess we have some somewhere here very little but uh yeah no we want to make this in the solidifier we just need the mold here where did that mold go Oh, there it is. Perfect. Hmm, excuse me. Apparently I'm dying all of a sudden. <laughs> I don't want to die. Okay, uh, we're going to put you in there. Perfect. And there we have it. So we can now uh, solidify this into the molds. Perfect. And this should give you tons and tons as well. So this will should keep up and not have to worry about it. Awesome. Okay. And then once that works, I'll make the assembler. I just need to make more electric motors and things like that, and then we'll come back. Okay, so I got assembler here. I also made a centrifuge here for the future as well. So we'll put this guy... You might want a chest there eventually, so we'll put this guy right here maybe. This guy here for fun. Um, and then I can just pipe this over. And then, yeah, this guy here we'll use for pumping in... Uh, or rubber, obviously, because we're going to have to make some, right? So I just throw it up there like a noob. Just start doing it from the top. Kind of eating up all the space there. There you go. So I can get some rubber put in there. Which we got lots of it over here somewhere. 
Did I start putting it in? No, right here. There you go. It's not actually as much as you think, but you do get three times, right? So, plus all the glue, so. Okay, so that's good. And then, like I said, I'll just take this. Now, I didn't make this big enough to fit, like, a whole city in here, obviously. But, uh, I mean, you know, enough so I can get a pipe, you know, underneath to one point to another. But it's not, like, as fancy as you might expect. So let's go ahead. And we'll go and get ourselves. I guess we already have one on us, don't we? Pump, yeah. Gotta make some more pumps, though. And then a pipe of some sort. Out. Doesn't have to be anything good. That's probably way or that's probably overkill to be fair, but I don't see myself using it to be fair, so Okay, so we'll put you under here. <laughs> well you gotta do what you gotta do, right? There you go. Oh crap, will I get it under there? I guess I could just put it here and then just use the wrench here, right? Though I should attach these. This is the assembly machine, perfect. Okay, and then we'll just do our arrows here. Okay. And that should... Now, it might not right away. I don't know if it'll grab any right away, because... Uh, Oh, because there's a wee bit it might have. Yeah, I did. Okay. I was going to say it might want to fill that up first, right? But uh, no, that should be good. And then we can put a chest in between the two here. And then, of course, you can turn it on and off based on uh, the inner part of it, right? So I can turn this on or whatever. I'll leave it as is because I don't really need that much right now. But uh, there you have it. That's, that's cool. And this is starting to do its thing. Yeah, so... This is this is good. This will make me happy. So yeah, a little new setup. We finally have the rubber stuff all uh, should say semi-automated. I guess I can pipe the things in over here and the sulfur and everything else, but I don't think I need to worry that much. Um, I have a lot of sulfur down here, so I guess I could bring the sulfur up to. Why well, keep it down here, right? So yeah, there's 124 stacks or something of sulfur in here, so we have more than enough sulfur. <laughs> There you go. Perfect. Okay, so I decided we're going to work on some metals here. Uh, if we go way up into LV, I think it was. Um, yeah, there's some metals here. We're actually not working on those ones yet. I guess it's MV we're working on. Uh, funny enough, we're skipping that one for now. Uh, and there are certain metals here. I saw them here before. I just got to figure out where they are now. No wonder I had a hell of a time finding it. Uh, so it's I, I, O, oh, blah, blah, blah. It wants you to have electric steel, conductive iron ingot, and pulsating uh, iron. But if you go further than that, there's a dark steel one here as well, which is what we were working on. So basically, we're working on a bit of everything, which is fine. I don't mind that. So um, I'm going to basically put these together. They got to be done in a mixer. So I should have. Oh, no, I already did that from here. There you go. So mixer, yeah. I don't know if, are, are these all going to be, yeah, we can do them all in a regular mixer. Perfect. Wasn't 100% sure if I could or not, but it looks like we're good. So, um, are they all twos, by the way? It looks like they're all twos. That's, that makes my life easier. Set this to two. And the first one is steel dust, coal dust, and raw silicon. So this is the downside with the raw silicon. Um, so we got, sorry, let's do that again. Uh, steel dust and coal dust. So. Steel dust, coal dust, and raw silicon. I'm working on raw silicon, but I forgot there was a way to get a lot of raw silicon. Um, as in, this probably changed since, you know, back in the day. But we got an insane amount of this here. We can actually put this in the blast furnace with coal, uh, carbon dust. Which I think carbon dust, well, we have to figure out how to make that. But I mean, oh, graphite. You can get a side thing. I'm pretty sure you can get it just from coal, can't you? Maybe you can't. Oh, you got the dark... I might be wrong. Rubber wood, oddly enough, gives you a 25% chance, huh? Dark ashes give you a bunch, which we have a bunch of that already. 
I have a ton. I was hoping to get it from. Oh, here you go. Charcoal. Here you go. There we go. Yeah. Car so coal gives you more. Okay. There you go. Lignite. Okay. There we have it. Even diamonds. Wow. Look at the diamond dust. Hmm. Okay. So there's obviously a lot of options for that. So, uh, and then basically, yeah. So you do that plus this guy and boom, there you have it. They take four seconds. So they're really quick. They do have a carbon monoxide byproduct. I think I might be wrong, but I think when you deal with uh, multi-machine blocks, there is no filling the outputs accidentally. Like I don't even have an output. As far as I know, this will run and you don't have to worry about it. It'll just keep running. So um, that's a big plus there. So yeah, that's something I should definitely look into because this would help me a lot, obviously. Okay, so the next one here we'll do on this side is redstone. Uh, this is the redstone alloy. So this is the one that you make, I think, inside of the blast furnace. Yeah, that's that one. This is the more expensive one that we've seen a couple of times, I believe. Uh, so we're going to have to use our raw silicon again. That would be all of it. But I don't think we need any more uh, for this, I think. And whoa, was that carbon? That's cool. Okay. And number oop, two. There you go. I'll have to keep clearing the output on this one. Or actually, I could just put a chest on top of this one, actually. If you can find the chest. I'll go find a chest to do that. Um, what the hell happened here? <laughs> I think when I was building the upstairs room with the wand, they screwed this up somehow. That's all right. We can fix that up. But I just laughed. Uh, oopsies. I'm surprised I only noticed this now. There you go. That's silly me. Okay, so how are you doing? Okay, so we still have to wait. This one's getting closer. Okay, so this is getting better. Okay, so we're gonna need, uh, so we'll get the electric steel out of here. And I know we're gonna need a stack of this, which we have a stack worth here. Still gonna make a couple more stacks fully here. So if we've done that, the next one is conductive uh, one. So redstone iron and silver so redstone alloy and then i'm pretty sure it's redstone alloy yeah okay and then i just don't want to waste it if it's another one it's the cheaper one and then oops and then silver which we're just macerating right now actually so Ooh, it's gonna take a minute okay we got our silver there perfect so i'll run that one and then pulsating is the next one so what we're going to do is masonry ender pearls. Um, I do have 32 here. I get a bit more, but I don't have quite 64. kind of want 64. Um, I've never been lucky to get a lot of endermen on this thing here. Is this up, I wonder? Coin, coin, coins. Eight minutes. Yeah. Okay. So um, I did my quest here, the daily. Well, it's not daily. It's every hour. But uh, the coin survivor, get two of them, put them in the smelter. We've done this before, but just wanted to recap on that. And then got enough iron to get six or enough ender pearls to get to up to 64 there. Um, so I'm happy about that. And then we're going to use one, one of these. We still have one more, so that's good. And that will go through. So I should cook maybe a stack of this. I'm probably going to want more of this, but I'm thinking I should cook a stack of this. So this takes... Uh, it doesn't take oxygen. Okay, good. 80 seconds. Holy crap. It's actually a little expensive. Time-wise. Now, I'm going to probably want... Hmm. I want to do this, but I might need to... I, I might wait on it. Do I have to make any of this? See, we got uh, distracted here from where we were. So, we were going... Was it MV? Yeah, it was MV. No, you don't need that right now. We might need it for this, so I might actually not do that right now. Yeah, you know what? I won't bother right now because I want to do the dark iron, so. Unfortunately, in the end, we do have to do the oxygen stuff here because we're going to need it here for uh, some of the other stuff here. So I'm just going to top that up. And, uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to... How do I do this? I guess I just change the orientation to go this way, maybe. I don't know if I can because of the. Yeah, it's like you don't realize, but that kind of screws you up, doesn't it? Um, oh, it's up here. We're putting it up anyways. There you go. Put you in here. 
We'll take you guys out of here. There you go. We'll just leave you guys alone for now. Perfect. And then we're going to do... So this one, if we do these guys, I have to do number... 11 look at the half the time and uh oh i can't even do the other one if i wanted to so there you go so that's good so uh that was 11 right so we gotta change the circuit to let's take this out again there we go 11 thank you I'll put you in here and then we'll put you in here I'll produce that. And then this guy, I mean, he should be sitting here anyways. Oh, we should probably put the tool back. There we go. Okay, yeah, so that should be fine. Now these guys, I think they... Oh, no. They all have to be the last furnace. I didn't realize that. Okay. So this will take a while just for us to go through all these, unfortunately. I didn't realize they were all uh, blast furnace. I thought they were going to be regular furnace, honestly. But yeah, this one too. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, waiting game it is then. So it will take probably, you know, a bunch of hours to do all that. I might break it down. Yeah, you know, I would like to get. I probably should just do what you need right now and then do that off camera. That way I'm not like tired and fatigued thinking oh you know it took me like three hours eight of these huh so let's do that and we'll just dump these guys in here so that's for later and then that's conductive iron oh wait that's redstone alloy i'm putting in there huh oh whatever i didn't mean to do that one but sure why not might need that for something later on okay uh, and then, uh, sorry, so electric steel, I guess, same idea. Um, yeah, it looks like they're all 11, so that's kind of cool, actually. And then we can dump the extras in here for now, though. We're probably going to want more of that. And then, let's see, electric steel, pulsating iron. Just make sure it's 11 as well. Ouch, that's even longer time-wise, though. Ouch. And what about the conductive? We haven't looked at that one yet. Oh, that's because I moved it over here. I was like kind of confused on that. Sixty, okay. So yeah, we're just doing eight of each for now. There you go. What the fudge? Oh, I see. You actually you screwed up on that one. That's fine. Okay. And then I guess we could put our hopper back here, but I don't want to take this stuff with it. Um, let's just take this out and put this somewhere else for now. Crap. There you go. We good for now? I think so. Okay. Oh, I wanted that hopper. There you go. And then this will be... Which one is this going to be? Oh, the pulsating one. Wait, whoa. whoa, this is not good. What happened to all our pulsating? Please don't tell me I used it up. Oh, no, it's being made right now. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was like freaking out there, like, to be fair, because I was like, oh, no, like, where did it go? Did I... What the fudge? Looks like the dude's like outside the window right now or something. That's weird. Anyways, we'll figure that out another time. Yeah, I lit them dirt ground and stuff when I dig holes, but maybe somehow there was a spot I didn't get, so I'll have to figure that out later. I'll say I ran out of steam. Oh, what happens if you run out of steam? I wonder if they can spawn there. Anyways, here we go. There we go. And we'll get our eight there. Okay, we'll come back in like an hour. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to... I found some diamond dust. I mean, I can use this, but I'm being a little lazy for fun. Uh, I want to put this in electrolyzer, I believe it was, right? Oh, this one's full of crap. 
We have a big electrolyzer here. It's pretty quick, actually. So let's use this one here. There you go. I guess we can do eight of it for now. And this, if as long as it's set right, uh, should make us carbon. Uh, yeah, I think we're fine. This will make us the carbon and uh, 64 each time, which is pretty. So not, oh, yeah, there you go. That's awesome. OK, so that's awesome. And then we were going to combine it with I think it was this, right? Yeah, so three of those, two of these, and that'll give you one raw silicon, which is actually wait. Oh, that's the output. Sorry, I was like, oh, no, what am I going to do with that? I mean, you could use that to get more carbon dust, honestly. <laughs> I think we're just going to leave it to kind of die, but uh, kind of interesting what you can do with it. For now, I'll just let it be meh. Um, so we got those two. And then, yeah, we, we need three of these guys, I guess. And then does it say what we need on here? Um, no, I guess. Yeah, and it takes four seconds, so it's actually really fast. What was this one? Same idea. Oh. Some weird, weird, weird ones I don't know about, but cool. Sweet. Okay, so this should work well then. So we'll just take you out here for now. And we'll take you. And then we'll put you in there. There we go. And it should be relatively quick because it's uh, four seconds. Yeah. Sweet. There you go. And then you can process this down. You can just macerate it, obviously. Um, and then get your raw silicon dust that way. So there might be other ways. They just I saw that one. I was just like, oh, okay, I'm going to try that one out since it seemed pretty simple. So fun one anyway. So yeah, I'll wait on that. And then uh, we'll work on making some of the dark iron, I think, next here. Oh, actually, we can grab these, by the way. Do, 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 do. There you go. So that's sweet. I was looking that up for somebody earlier to help them out with that. Okay, so here we go. So you get to choose what you want. Um, I'll do this one because ender pearls are a little rare for us right now. And then, yeah, so the next one here will be the dark side, <laughs> which I want some dark steel, which that'll take a while to process, but uh, it's what we're going to do next here. Okay, so another thing is I need obsidian here. So if you want a lot of obsidian, this is the way to do it. Basically, you go to the alloy smelter and you put in uh, an entire obsidian ingot. No, this is not it. I'm looking at the wrong way. That's why. Okay, there you go. Alloy smelter. So you put in. Uh, oh, wow. I didn't realize you put those in. You just put regular obsidian uh, ingot mold and you get nine out of this versus uh you would get one. So if you took this and macerated this into a dust, I guess we're clicking these wrong today. There you go. If you click, uh, right click, there you go. Macerate this, you only get one. But with this, well, now you get literally nine times. <laughs> so it's just a, a good way of doing this. And then we just macerate it. And they, there you go. They macerate pretty fast as well. So might as well get some more for the future here. Okay. So there are obsidian here, obsidian there. I thought I'd do even more for the future here. And then there you go. So I should be able to throw this in here. And I'm doing something wrong, apparently. Requires a mix. Oh, no, that's right. Please don't be like MV or something. Obsidian, coal, electric steel. Oh. Oh. I herbed up. I thought it was, oh, that's all right. We have lots more for the future for the electric steel. I thought that was the other uh, stuff. So this coal dust. I gotta go get my, make some coal dust then. There we go. So at least you know how to, to get the raw silicone, uh, silicon like that. Unfortunately, I was an idiot thinking I needed that for here, but I can use it in the future for many things, including electric steel. And there you go. That'll be good. And I'll get a bunch of that made. So that's three at a time, right? Perfect. And then uh, we'll go ahead and put that in the... You might as well wait till we get 32 and put it in. Okay, we got it going here. So we're going to put you in here. So we want level 11 again, 50 seconds each. going to take a while. We have to have 32 of them. So 
should probably go get some food or something. Because <laughs> this will take a wee bit. Um, but we got our 11 one here. Perfect. Put that in there. That should start here any second. Three, two, one. Yay. There we go. 50 seconds. Okay. So like I said, it'll take a while. Might as well go eat. Uh, and then we'll come back. And uh, yeah, we'll have some of that. Okay, let's check on it. I ran some more in here too, I think. So we should have yeah, 54 in there. Yes, we should have a good stack of it now. Yeah. Come to the dark side. Yeah, baby. Okay, so let's go over here and accept that. Cool. Look at this crop. I don't think this works for, yeah. Does not work for IC2. No, really? Obviously, when it comes to those. Um, so, yeah, we got that, which is kind of cool because I wanted to get this guy here eventually here. This was all dark steel, actually, so I wonder if I can make... Well, we'll try it out, I guess. There's probably a lot of things I can make, obviously. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, we'll do 32 plates, I guess. Excellent. I'll probably keep those for now. When this finishes this, we'll throw this in here. You good? You're good, yep. <laughs> okay, and we'll throw you in here. Oh, look at that, yeah. Super speed, okay, there you go. I don't know if I need those, so I just decided to hold on to them for now anyways. Okay. Sweet. Okay, so let's go ahead. So the thing I want to make is uh, a mold I had before, which did I just accidentally take it off? Um, so this is the one I wanted for a while, and it's this guy right here. And then I realized, oh, I can't do the shafts because they're evil. Um, and they basically did this to it. They required this extruder shape, which, okay, no problem. But this is why you couldn't do it. <laughs> like I said, they were they were a bit evil on it. Um, now, can I make, or do I have, I should ask. I do have this, except then I won't have a rod one. I can do that off camera or something. Make another one here. Wait, you gave me a bunch of cookies? That's a lot of cookies, dude. Okay, so... Um... We need a file and a hammer, it looks like. A file and a hammer. Oh, and a screwdriver. I guess I didn't notice that last time. There you go. Perfect. And then basically, yeah, you're going to put the rods through that, which they had to be full steel blocks. Oh, I guess they didn't have to. You're doing that. I guess I was looking at the other one or something, but it doesn't matter. We have this. This is good, though. This is something I wanted for a bit. Oh, so. this will take a while, I'm guessing. I didn't look at the thing, but usually extrusion recipes take a little time. There we go. Okay, we'll come back when that's done. Okay, I need to make more large gears. These are small gears. Oh, wait, that's large gear, isn't it? Down there. Yeah. I gotta make more of these. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering what this whole pile is, I lay these out and then I break them one by one kind of thing and then like remove the oxygen in my crafting grid. But though I've been using on my, my EBF, I've been keeping them there. But uh, yeah, I made a bunch of those a while ago and I just, yeah, they've just been sitting there basically. So that's the, the story of that. Um, I guess we'll keep this here because we've been using these from time to time. Let's go ahead and put, oh, wrong one anyways. Let's put you with this and I need to get a couple of gears right now. Need one more, please. There you go, okay. So yeah, we're trying to make the copter uh, pack pack because it will basically let me get around easier. It's very enjoyable. 
Um, so I needed the gears for an advanced combustion generator. We need another one. And then I guess we can go crazy on this. So we need one of these. I guess we need this thing, this thing, and then eventually this thing. So let's see, we got everything for this, perfect. Okay, don't break yet. We need to make this fancy thing. A two cylinder diesel engine, oh, that's kinda cute. And then we have to convert a regular tank into a backpack tank. And then just give it a second there. And then we're good, except we apparently didn't have one motor ready. There you go. Wait, what the heck? Oh, you need three of those. How did I not notice that? You get eight of them when you make these, but I just didn't, I guess, notice. Those are just regular steel pipes, by the way. It's just you get a lot out of them. These are tiny. There you go. And there you have it. So, yeah, I forget how this is even. There you go. And then you're going to have to figure out how to open it again. Let me, let me go through the key bindings. Okay, so it's pretty easy because it's already there. You just go to controls or there. So I set mine to H and J. Um, so that should be okay. And then we just need some fuel with this. And I think this one, yeah, this one's nice because you just take direct fuel. The other one you can get, oh, it's okay-ish, but it requires water and all this other crap. And this one is kind of like right to it. Oh, oh, either the power went out or yeah, I don't know. Well, that's why we have these guys here. There you go. And then we'll take uh, take a half stack from me, please. There you go. I'll just keep those in there for the emergency, I guess. Uh, well, I guess it's a fine for now. I don't want to mess with it too much right now. Um, let's just throw these guys in here for now. And actually, I'm just wanting to throw all of it in there for now. Yeah, so yeah, so it's in the did we put it in there or did oh, I'm an idiot. H was it? Yeah. <laughs> Big idiot apparently. There you go. And then I guess you could put that in there. Oh no, it closes. Okay. We don't want to do that for now. Okay, and then yeah, if you hit J, I think, right? No. So I see the meter on the bottom right, but I'm not sure how I get this going. So let me look into this. Maybe you have to hit like, oh, there you go. Shift whatever the key is set. So shift J and it's loud, it's like cool loud. I'll have to adjust it, but it is, you have to admit it's pretty badass. I'm gonna move the character armor thing if I can. Okay, so to show you the stat, I'll, I'll mod options, adventure backpack config, and then uh, basically what I did was go to graphics and tanks, and I move this around. I'm gonna move it a wee bit more. Um, you can do a lot of options here, and then also sounds. I went ahead and disabled them all. Um, oh, the piston boots don't bother me; they can stay on. Um, and then armor uh, status of HUD. If you want to change it, you can change it to here and they'll take effect so there you go so i was gonna move the armor and then i thought oh that looks weirder so i had to move the fuel tank so now we can hit shift j you won't hear the the helicopter obviously but now uh, we can move pretty fast here so we're looking for our b base here yeah here it is and i guess you can there you go so if you just tap it then you can change the different modes now so shift j uh to turn it on and off I set the bind to J, obviously. So shift whatever your bind is. And then just the bind itself to change the different modes. So hover is nice because I get to basically just go straight in one direction and do my thing. Now, I guess I, I it'd probably be nasty to do this, but I'm guessing these don't mix. Oddly enough, I think they are mixing a bit. Yeah. Hard to say, to be fair. If it is, it's sl slight. You can go like this and probably go down faster, but that's all right. I don't need to use this. I, I kind of like it how it is, so I'm fine with that. There's ways to speed up later on anyway, so my helmet's going to break soon, so. 
The only downside is it's so quiet now. I just I assume I muted the sound because it's so quiet. So I'm guessing it ran out of ender pearls. Ah, that's what happened. So it's fine. It's just out of ender pearls, which unfortunately I wasn't smart enough to bring more ender pearls. So I have to do that. But yeah, it's all good. It's fine. So uh, yeah, there is the jetpack anyways. I'm happy about that. I guess we got this. Oh yeah, you got feather phone. That's pretty cool. Let's just grab that. Did we get anything else or we, we got everything at that point yet? Yeah. Ooh, a slime thingy. But uh, yeah, I'm happy. So we, <laughs> when you think about it, it seems like we didn't do a lot this episode. You made some ingots and uh, made that basically. But when you really, really think about it, that was actually a lot of work because um, going through all that, um, all those ingots are it, it, kind of painful to be fair. And uh, now we know how to do it. Now we've made extras and things like that. We'll have lots to use and i'm going to probably make more of them too and i'll throw the other ones inside the uh, ebf and things like that as well over time but basically they'll they'll do us well over time so i'm happy about that like i'm uh, i'm yeah i think it, it'll work well that's what happens to have a magnet on to get too close to the ground <laughs> but uh no i'm really happy about this this just makes getting around a little easier i can get around at night without too many worries now um, we're probably getting to the point where maybe night vision is even a, a thing for us soon. So that would be a nice little treat eventually. So I'm not sure what we'll do next time. It might not even be any kind of progression through MV. It might be like, you know, checking out some of the armor stuff or something else. You know, I like doing that. So um, it's a lot of fun. And to be fair, why not? Right. So, oh, one thing I wanted to show you with this thing. Um, it's probably I don't know if it works with entities. Let's try it with entities. See what happens here. No, it doesn't work with these guys. So if we tear in, uh, take the magnet and do this. Yeah, so we're blowing away the entities. I just thought you'd like that. It's kind of a fun little uh, thing it does. So if the entities start going away on you and you're a little confused, well, now you know it's this. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, it's not super fast or anything going up and down, but it's because it's a helicopter. You know, helicopters aren't supposed to be like, Whoop! you know, they can actually move forward to pretty decent speeds too. So um but uh either way my friends thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe comment like and we'll see wonderful people next time have a wonderful day goodbye